Last week on Life Goes On... We can win a trip to Hawaii. Beautiful, romantic, Waikiki Beach. My brother Corky bought a raffle ticket, and guess what? This is yours. Aloha! You won! We won! We go to Hawaii! Did you say limousine? Aloha, Hi. I'm uh, Earl Nakarakatama from Harvey's Happy Hawaiian Holiday Hotel. Okay, Earl. Take us to paradise. Now you're talking. Well, it was paradise for Earl, but disaster for us. Welcome to paradise. Paradise. Brochure said that we were to stay at a luxury hotel. Define luxury. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. What are those things? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What things? Those things all over the walls that look like lizards. They're lizards. Oh, That's it. Dad decided to pack up and go home. The airline lost our reservation in the computer. We have to go to the airport and show them our tickets. So much for paradise. But Mom decided to make the best of the worst. Wait. Wait just a second. This is ridiculous. Think about it. We've got all of these vouchers. Don Ho, huh? You've been wanting to hear Don Ho sing Tiny Bubbles for as long as I've known you. Tiny Bubbles. Unbelievable, we actually met Don Ho. Then our luck really started to change. Tomorrow morning, you're in the newest hotel on island. Free. Now this was more like it. A real Hawaiian vacation. This was really paradise. Don't worry. And even Earl Makarakatama turned out to be an okay guy after all. Don't worry. Tonight on Life Goes On. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, sea lions are members of the pinniped family. And that means flipper-footed, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> this is the best vacation I ever had. I wish it would never end. Sometimes I think it never will. I'm oh, my God. <laughs> Some of the big males can tip the scales at over 1,000 big ones. Or, 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 they look kind of big and slow. They look kind of big and slow. Don't let them go. These guys are fast. Which course? I don't know. Have you seen Corky? I wasn't he right there? How could he just slip away? Didn't anybody see him leave? No, no sure. We got to find him. Right. Right. You go this way. You go that. All right. We'll meet back here in five minutes. Excuse me. 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 Excuse
Come on, wait up. I, I don't want to run. I'm on vacation. She said to be here. Yeah, we are. It's 9 o'clock on the dot. You're going to tell her it's okay, right? Well, I want to talk to her a little bit more about it. Don't say no. I'm all left to have jobs. Well, I'm here. Hey, bud. Right on time. I like that. Come here, I want you to meet Stevie. He drops by once in a while to say hi to his friends. Right, Stevie? Right. Hi, Stevie. Okay. See you later. My dad says it's okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you sure you're willing to let him tag along today? Who's Mickey? I do it all the time with special kids. Handicapped people and dolphins really seem to connect on some other level. Oh. I don't know, but I'd love to find out. I'm sorry, I hope you don't think I mean he's an experimental subject for me. No, no I didn't think that. Look, uh, if it's okay with you, I'd love for him to hang out with me. I work at, at home. I work at, at a restaurant. I do a good job. I can't do a good job here. Can you swim? Yeah, Cork's a good swimmer. All right. Then you are now officially my volunteer. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right. Dear Tyler, only three days left before I can see your incredible, sexy, strong-jawed face. I sit on the beach alone and think about the night you kissed me at the spring fling. I picture your lips on mine. Becca, are you crazy? If Maxie knew you were writing to Tyler, she'd say, Get real, Becca. He is back with Rona, and you're just another girl he's kissed and left panting. I did not pant. And I know he liked it. Obviously not enough. You know, Maxie, I don't even know why I consider you my friend. Wipe him out of your mind. Don't even think about him. Pretend he doesn't exist. Get him out of my... My mind. <clears throat> oh, Maxie, will I just grow old and have lots of cats and wear men's suits? Maybe I'll just bury myself in the sand here and let the sand fleas devour me. <gasps> wow. Perfection has raised its perfect head. If this is a dream, let me dream from here to eternity. Is this yours? Excuse me? You know someone named uh, Tyler? Me? Tyler? Nope. <laughs> Never heard of him. So let me guess. You look like, uh, Iowa. No, Wisconsin, maybe. Illinois. Uh-huh. Vacation? Vacation? Some vacation. First, our luggage gets lost. Then it gets smashed. Then we're in this rat trap, gecko-ridden, roach-infested, flea-bag hotel. But that's okay, because Don Ho set us up in this beautiful hotel. And you're the first person under the age of 40 I've spoken to since I've been here, except for my brother, so... <laughs> Hi. Maybe you better move this up. The tide's coming in. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Nalu Kela. Excuse me? It's your Hawaiian dictionary. I thought you were studying the language. Oh, well, I was trying to. But there's a lot of vowels in a row. Aloha's about the best I can do right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what I asked you, can you surf? Can I surf? No. <laughs> oh, bummer. Well, I got a jam. Aloha. Ah. Uh, yeah. Aloha. Can I serve? Yes, I could serve. 
You just get on the board, you stand up, and you surf, and there's a gorgeous guy right there next to you. Of course you can surf. <sighs> Half time. Bears are starting out the preseason tough. I'll tell you. Funny. Yeah. I wonder if every couple has a honeymoon like we do. But we're on a second honeymoon too. I never thought anything could be worse than the first. True. I'm just about to find out who the murderer is. I am very happy. So why don't you go watch the end of the game? End of what game? The bear game? Isn't that just the way you're finally relaxed? Whatever he wants is always more important. Excuse me? The most important thing she does all day long is decide what color nail polish to put on her claws. You know, like the better burger boy business is supposed to make me get up in the morning and shout hooray. Did you say better burger boy? It puts cream in your coffee, Miss Put Down Everything I Built Up. <laughs> Wayne Oslot, husband to the shrew. <laughs> Drew Thatcher, husband to the... To the what? Little woman. Excuse me? So, uh, who's winning the game? Uh, she had the TV taken out of our room. We're supposed to be in Hawaii to uh, talk. Well, the Bears look tough. I'm in the restaurant business myself. Our marriage counselor says he thinks we avoid talking to each other. Hi, I'm Elaine. Libby. Libby. I read that book. The detective's girlfriend is blackmailing the parasailing jock who did it for revenge. You know, people hate it when you do that. What did I do? You, you just ruined the book for me. I did not. Did I ruin the book for you? <laughs> Excuse me. My daughter's at the beach. I'll just go check on her. Have to get back to the game. Uh, it was, uh, nice meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you. Bye. 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 Oh. She forgot the book. The little woman. I'm sorry. You're not little. Are you saying I'm getting fat? Of course not. But you have to admit, you have been packing it away since we've been here. Would you care to rephrase that, Buster? I love you, no matter what size you are. All right. Hi. Hi, Mickey. I don't know. These guys have been chattering away for a couple million years. We're still trying to figure it out. I wish I could talk to him. Well, maybe you can. Here, splash your hand on the water like this. What do I do? Try talking to him. Tell him about yourself. I'm Cookie Thatcher. I'm in Hawaii on vacation with my family. Do you have a family? Where did he go? This is Mickey's brother, Kaleo, and Kamuela. You mean he understood me? You asked him about his family. Great. My mother snoring beside me. Who would find that attractive? Yo, Illinois. You gonna check out the hotel's luau tonight? Um, I hadn't really thought about it. Who's that? My sister, my older, older sister. I was an afterthought child when my parents were very old. Well, I'll be there. I can get you some Ono Cow Cow. What's that? Good eats. Food. Oh. Lomi salmon, Lao Lao, Haupia. Um, OK, it sounds like fun. Great, I'll see you there. Okay. Hey, Mo, how is it, bro? Yes. Great ride out there. Your sister? It sounded so dorky to tell him that you were my mother. 
He's cute. Mom, he is more than just cute. You have my permission. But you stay at the luau and don't go wander off. If I turn around with a big piece of roast pork hanging out of my mouth, I want to be able to see you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have to go get ready. Honey, you have all day. Mom, why did he ask me? I mean, there are all these beautiful bodies around in tiny bikinis. Becca, don't analyze it. Just enjoy it. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot your book. Uh, oh, oh. The case of the Hawaiian honeymoon. Uh, the wife really did do it. Multiple personalities. <laughs> See you later, honey. Bye, honey. Back fast. Long pass over the middle. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Tremendous hit on McCarran. Hang on. Chicago going without a huddle. Randall right. over center, Barton signals. Yeah! Randall throws over the middle, incomplete to number 88, Dan Rapson. Hey! Oh, you don't mind me watching the end of the game with you. Well no. Our marriage counselor says the TV interrupts the flow of our relating. <laughs> you know what interrupts the flow of our relating? Her face. <laughs> I'm telling you, they drive you crazy, don't right? they? Yeah, women well, can do that. Yeah, women, you can't live with her. Hey, 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 look at this. Come on! Move, move, move! Come right, come right, come right in the back! Come on, you moron! Trade base. <laughs> so, uh, you're in, uh, chain restaurants, too? Uh... No. Oh, hey, you got to expand. It's the only way to go. Hmm? Uh, oh, hey, you want a cigar? Oh, Cuban. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> oh. Chips? <laughs> so you have to be tutored. What's the big deal? Look at the bright side. You're going to be a high school sophomore in regular high school. And I'm 19. Everyone is younger. And they do more. Like Becca. And that makes you mad? No, not mad. I want to be like her. I want to be like everyone else. Isn't it best just to be yourself? Hi, Mickey. Hi, Kideo. Corky, what do you think they're saying? I think they want to be my friend. I'll say. Mickey doesn't do that with just anybody. He wants to swim with you. I know. You know? How? We'll return after these messages. We now return to Life Goes On. How did you spend your summer vacation? With the most gorgeous surfer known to white sand. If you could see him, you would faint. Maxie, this is him. Hi. Hi. Hey, Beck. Oh, hello. Tyler, isn't it? <laughs> isn't this the guy who came on to you with Spring Fling and then didn't call you all summer? Yes. Man, you don't know a good thing when it hits you in the head. Well, who are you? I'm your competition. Beck. You must be real special to have a guy like that all over you. Hey, she is special, buddy. Believe it. Where are the waves, babe? Um, Lake Michigan? 
Let's check it out. Sorry, Tyler. Too little, too late. <laughs> you see that? See what they're doing? What? When they start playing with their fish and stop eating it, you know that they're full. You stop feeding them, okay? Okay. All right, guys. Chow time's over. He's scared, too. Scared? What do you mean, scared of what? I don't know. Did he tell you that? I'm not sure. Corky, you said he's scared, too. What are you afraid of? I don't know. Okay, Cork, as long as it's okay with Jolene. All right, pal. We'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye. Smells like cigars in here. What's up? Uh, oh, nothing. Jolene's gonna bring... What is that on your face? Avocado marine mud. It's supposed to rejuvenate my pores. Oh. You know, you could have asked Wayne not to smoke. Oh, grew up on the north side of Chicago. What am I supposed to do, deny him his bears? No, just his cigars. One wasn't enough. You know, Elaine told me about Wayne. He really treats her terribly. Well, he told me some stories about her. You know, his life hasn't been a bed of roses either, you know. I'm sure she was telling me the truth. Hey, let's not get involved, okay? Okay. Okay. You know, they're rich. <laughs> they don't, uh, they don't pick up towels. They don't make beds. I hate myself. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> Fruit, champagne, flowers, turned down beds, little chocolate mints. Tiny bubbles. Laundry service. Thank you, Don Ho. Tiny bubbles. Robes and little slippers. Thank, Thank you, Don Ho. The legends say the gods said to one another, this shall be our home, our paradise. Yeah. 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 And so it was. The paradise of the gods. And the land was called Polynesia. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Illinois. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hi. Hi. This means welcome. We hope you find our island full of friendship. Thank you. Oh, I've been there. Yeah? See the sea lion show? Well, that was me. Or, or, or. Oh. I'm sorry. Very funny. Come on, you gotta check this out. 25 years. 25 years. It's the little things that make you crack. I hate the way he puts on his socks. He puts on one bright sock before he brushes his teeth, puts on the coffee, eats his oatmeal, reads the paper, everything with one lousy sock. And he says his left foot is hotter than his right. Is that possible? I really don't know. It's like he searched for the one thing that would push me over the edge. Drew knows I hate it when he eats knockwurst and sauerkraut before bed. Knockwurst and sauerkraut? Poor thing. Oh. That means moonlight and shadows. And you in my arms. I belong to you. You belong to me, my sweet. Or something like that. Where did you learn all that? It's part of the language. On the islands, we like to talk with our bodies as well as our mouths. Oh. Do you want me to show you? This means beauty has rested on your face. This means your smile takes the clouds away. said my smile is like an exploding mongoose. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. You know, I don't even know your name. Kaolani. 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 
Keo Lani. Call me Kimo. Okay. <laughs> Time for my night job. A garbage truck, a telephone pole. The 1983, she backs into a cement mixer. No. Yes, buries the car. Yeah, she managed to escape all right. Of course, I was real happy about that. <laughs> I'm telling you. Look, hey, you ever thought of getting out of it? What? Marriage? No. Oh, mine? No. Oh, come on. No doubts, not even a shred. Nah, my first one didn't work out. Got a great kid out of it, but uh, always knew it was wrong. With Libby, uh, always felt right, solid. Never doubted it for a minute that I loved her. Uh, how many kids you got? Three. Three? Yeah, well, uh, kids make a difference. No. Uncle's got to have two, three jobs just to pay their rent. And I'm saving for college. So, hit the waves early before I go to work? The sun's up at 5.30, you know. Is that too early for you? For me? Yeah. For what, surfing? Oh, thank you! Oh, hi, Clark. See you tomorrow, Cork. Very cute outfit. Oh, thanks, Jolene. Cork, this is Kalani. Kimo. Kimo, this is my brother, Cork. Hey. Cork, Kimo just asked me to go surfing in the morning. You surfer? Yeah. I surf. I can surf with you. Becca, I gotta go. Um, I'll see you later, Cork. Maybe I can go surfing with you sometime. 
Hey, man, I got a jam, okay? Um, so surfing at 5.30? Look, I just remembered I got something else in the morning. Did I do something? No. What's wrong? I just gotta go, okay? I... Bye. Dear Maxie, it was because of Corky, I know it. I am so disappointed in people I could just... If you were here, I know what you'd say. Surfer gone bad. A real jerk. A beautiful body with a major brain flaw. A complete, incomplete human. What a waste. Exactly. How can people judge anybody before they take the time to get to know them? Why am I cursed? Why can't I find a gorgeous and available boy and have him be perfect? Come in. I'm sorry, the surfer doesn't like me. Yeah, well... Hi, Mickey. How can I help? Hey, Corky, we've got work to do. Okay. What's the matter? Are you all right? I like it here. I wish I could stay here all the time. Take care of them and love them. This is their home. How could they be afraid of the ocean? Afraid? Well, I'm not so sure they're afraid of it. They are. Mickey and Kaleo were born here in captivity. They've never been in the ocean. They can see it when they jump. It scares them. If it scares them, it's only because they wouldn't know how to live in that world. We'd have to teach them how to find and catch their fish. They'd be lost. Vicky and Kaleo are different, just like me. Yeah, they are different. But that doesn't make them any less important or any less worthy. Yo, Joe, I'm here. Oh, finally transferred out of sea lines, huh? Yeah. Thanks for recommending me. Yeah. Hey, Cork. I want you to meet a new helper. This is Kimo Watanabe, Corky Thatcher. Now show him what you're doing, and I'll be back to check on you, okay? Okay. All right. What, what are you doing here? I'm a volunteer. So what's this? A list of what the dolphins eat. See, these are columns. Yeah, Maui gets 10 pounds of herring, five pounds of smelt, and what's this? I don't know. VIT probably stands for vitamins. Where are the vitamins? I don't know. Are we supposed to get them? I don't know. Well, let's get the fish first. Okay, where's Maui's bucket? Oh, I got it. I got it, I got it. Okay, so count. How many dolphins we gotta feed? One, two, three, four, five. See, look, they're numbered here. 20 of them. Don't sweat, I'll read the list. Okay, hand me that box of herring. Okay. 
Okay. Bucket weighs a pound. Weigh these fish. And... Okay. Smell. talk to you? What about? Your brother, he freaked out today. He said you took his job away from him. We were working together. Maybe I took charge of something. Look, I was trying to act normal, but people like him kind of freaked me a little. I mean, how am I supposed to treat him? Kimo, he's a person. And you can treat him like a person. I don't understand. What are you afraid of? Who said I was afraid? Well, if it isn't fear, then it's stupidity. I was giving you the benefit of the doubt. Excuse me, I've got to go. better than come down here all alone. You gotta let go of this one, Cork. Dad, he took my job. The way Jolene explained it, it was his job. You were a volunteer. He didn't think I could do it. I could do it. Well, this guy, uh, what's his name? Kimo? He's like uh, a lot of people we've talked about. People that don't take the time to know you or understand you. I'm like Mickey and Kaleo. Huh? They want to be in the ocean. But they don't fit. And I don't fit either. Hey, pal. All of us. You, me, Mom, Becca. All of us. We're all like, like pieces of a giant jigsaw puzzle. And all the pieces are different, but every piece fits. Every piece fits. That's right. But where do I fit? Where do Mickey and Kaleo fit? Well, Mickey and Kaleo fit right where they are, in the park. And you fit with us. You make our picture complete. So they shouldn't be afraid? No. And neither should you. I fit. You sure do, pal. Believe me. You fit beautifully. Hey, Shelby, huh? I just want to crawl into a cave. Never come out so I don't have to see or talk to anyone ever again. Ooh. That bad, huh? Becca, honey, try and cheer up. When I was your age and people didn't live up to my hopes, I'd go in my closet and sit all by myself. I used to imagine that I'd turn into a skeleton and Grandma would find my bones. How long did you stay there? Well, until I got hungry. I'm just so disappointed in people all the time. It hurts when someone you like doesn't live up to your expectations. It really hurts. But the good news is, it only lasts a little while. It hurts, but then you forget the pain, and it disappears. Honestly, it does. What's the bad news? The bad news is, it colors us. Do you know what I mean? It stays with us. 
like a little thorn in our brains and makes us just a little more cautious of the next person we meet. It's called maturing. Great. I'd like to say I feel better now. But you don't. Do you mind if I stay out here a little longer by myself? Not at all. Do you mind if I stay out here by myself with you? We have nearly four hours left in paradise, and why we have to spend them at the airport? Hey, airplane? leaving so soon? <laughs> yeah, well... I'll bet it's just because he has to get back to his business, right? And what's wrong with that? No, 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 no. It's just that we've got to get back to the real world. Don't let him use business as an excuse, honey. Oh, it's not an excuse. It's... When it comes to business, why don't you mind your own? Oh, so you're starting again? Why don't you just drive, okay? Oh, why don't you get out and walk? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Say hello to Indiana. It's Iowa. I told you it's Iowa. Well, it works for them. God help them. Hey, there's Earl. My bag. <coughs> you found our luggage. Your luggage? Oh, absolutely. It's all part of the big Aloha service. Well, folks, this is it. The final moments, the bon voyage, the big aloha oe in the sky. I'm gonna miss you guys. My heart's hurting. You hatchers have been my favorite howlies so far. You know, as soon as I drop you off, I'm heading for the sonic wave. And just as I'm shooting the curl and hanging the tube, I'm gonna be thinking about... Hey, what's the matter, big kahuna? I never said goodbye to the dolphins. The dolphins? Well, let's go. Like they're sorry to see you leave. The fit. The fit. Here. That's what you're trying to tell me. Hi, Becca. Hi. Hey, uh, Corky. This is yours. No, it's not. It's Mickey's fish. I think it's your job to feed him till you have to go. Look. I'm really sorry I butted in. Sure. No, I mean it. I'm really sorry. Next time, remember, 
I can do things too. Okay, I'll remember that. Good. Becca, I'm really glad I met you. Thanks, I guess. Maybe I am a little afraid, but I know I don't have to be. I know. Right. Thanks. Have a good trip home. Okay. I want to swim with them. Do you want me to go with you? Yeah. <laughs> 